They all. I have Zealander from Toppling Goliath. First time they've shipped this one out here. So it's their Nelson Slovene IPA, 6.2% alcohol. And I don't know if it's a single hop. Um, they don't say that. But it was canned December 18th, so quite fresh. It's about, let's see, less than three weeks. Or no, about, about three weeks old, maybe. Um, I've been enjoying a lot of uh, these Toppling Goliaths lately. The newer ones they're shipping out here that I can get real nice and fresh. So they varied in their haze factor. It looked like this one is super hazy in pictures. Ooh, and this glass. How is that not a clean glass? Come on. Whoa, head looks nice though. I did, I did pour it rather hard. But if your glass is not super clean, you get these little bubbles that stick to the side. And I thought this one was. Um, but yeah, really, really nice looking head on that. Um, already getting some whiffs of that sort of like smoky wh white grape. I often think it's kind of smells like fresh cut jalapenos. Mm, yeah, really big on that Nelson nose. <sighs> wow. And then some like underripe tropical stuff happening, a little bit pineapple-y. Definitely juicy white grape. Big peppery notes, uh, grapefruit, I guess, too. <sighs> Smells pretty nice. Really, really intense Nelson, and that's uh, very pale. I guess it's not, it's not murky hazy, quite hazy, though. And I already got some nice lacing forming, too. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. This is probably one of the better widely distributed Nelson IPAs out there. Um, but there, Nelson is just a, a hard hop to get. Um, I don't even know how much is produced because it's New Zealand is not a gigantic country where you can just make an infinite amount of hops. Um, really nice though. Mm. Pretty thick. And fluffy it's got a little bit of a spicy oily texture on the edge of being chalky um, pretty soft too um, finish and finish is pretty pretty dry they say crisp grapefruit mandarin oranges I don't know a little bit but I feel like it's definitely more grapefruit because I think if you mix orange and white grape, it's going to be similar to a grapefruit flavor. Except this, this has that extra grapefruit zip bitterness, I would say. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is a single hop Nelson beer. And the yeast is not really very noticeable. That's one thing I like about Toppling Goliath is they don't have a huge in-your-face yeast character. You can really just appreciate the hops. This is, reminds me a little bit of like a... Some Hill Farmstead Nelson beers, I honestly. And it packs a bigger body and flavor and aroma than you'd expect for 6.2. Yeah, this is great. Highly recommended this one. This is probably a 4.25 for me. Yeah, even though I've been drinking a bunch of different tree houses, this is not a letdown at all. <laughs> 